Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last episode, we joined the Greys and the law enforcement of Rhodes. Took down a moonshine camp in the woods. And we also lost the race to Dutch. But it's okay. It happens. No way! No way! Yes! Yes! Where did he come from? I don't know. Where are you? He just wandered in. I see you, doggy. Dang! Wow! Kane. A stray Catahoula cur who wandered his way into camp at Clemens Point. Hey there, Kane. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You are! Good boy. Wow. We have a dog. Stop wandering. Hey, fast travel map. Arthur, a dog. A dog. Yeah, I saw Jack. I saw that puppy. Guess who finally figured out how to store and access outfits on their horse? This dummy. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. See you, John. Fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. So, That's we've got two personas in the south. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens As deputies to return their of Rhodes, working for the Greys. And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a Oh, that's one thing I wasn't able to record. Bo and Penelope. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest Opposing of the families. Maybe. Well, but they are I'm sure in love. Money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. And because we're gonna go meet the Braithwaites, we've changed into our yeah. Grizzlies outfit. Grizzlies outlaw. Here we are. To the Greys and the Sheriffs. They know us by our denim Hello, look, so. What's that in the back there? Moonshine, Two personas. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May <clears> I <throat> speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. 
Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. So it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? Mm, you sell she's a little attractive. A a <laughs> Give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward. For uh, the I'm profit. sorry. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Oh, she's abrasive. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, I, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From oh, I know Gee, exactly look at who us. Gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. Hosea, why you know are you? I don't want it. Why are In you fact, telling them? Sir, God. Now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a Mama. promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. I have no idea uh, what cribbage is. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. So, I am no longer so, Deputy Arthur so Callahan. Got close to a thousand for him. Oh, really? Oh, yo. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. That's cash right oh, there. Not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. He's threatened by us. Right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in mm, town. Let's go this way. The sheriff. Yeah, hey, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <sighs> we'll need some. I ain't playing, Dressel. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's... Idiot. <laughs> I'm the clown. You're the idiot. <laughs> oh, Just yes, we are. Look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do no that. No problem, Hosea. Put this hat on. <clears throat> New hat. Smoke Let's do it. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Yeah. Oh, perfect. What about you? No, oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor Mavish heart. Ah. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Nah. Oh, I'm mad. Girl. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> sure thing. My name is Fenton. Fenton. Grizzly. Gentlemen. Yeah, I guess that's my name. Gentlemen. Right the the Braithwaite persona. Brother Melvin. Brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. You. Yeah. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Look at me and my pipe. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen. Go behind the bar. Oh, we're serving. Gentlemen, my name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next thirty minutes, 
The drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fink to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Burr. Don't on, make bar, me everybody. mad. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Billy. Oh, what is this little mini game? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here you go. Just keep it going. I'm pouring it. Okay, just give me a second. You're fine and man, Fenton. Fine and man. Don't listen to your brother, my boy. Come on, over here, Fenton. Come along. Hey, 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 hey. That guy's gone. You're a dumbass. Go back to your wife. We got shine out here. We got shine. You, me, you're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, goddamn raiders. We're just in advertising, goddammit. Damn it. Hang on, Jose. Oh, whoa, calm down. Okay, I'm coming. Bar. Let him go. Boom. Crap. Uh, ow. Let's go. Oh, Jose. Good job. I mean Melvin, sorry. Come at me. Well, shoot them then. I just saw them coming out of the alley. Ah! I hit the liquor. Whip. Damn it, they're still coming. Turn around, move behind you. Ah! You don't see them here. Oh. Look out on your right. Ooh, the moon is high. Oh, 
You're gonna die in this moonlight. Alright. That was messy, but... Dutch Vanderlyn gang down in the Moin territory. All right, we're good. Yeah. Wow. Well, never to take up take a, a look at that sky. Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Anytime, Melv. That was fun. Dang. About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some... Shut the fuck up, Micah. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Thank you, sure. Mr. Obvious. Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose has gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Well, okay then. Seems there's always trouble when there's liquor involved. 